Hey there, Aries, and thank you so much for joining me for this new moon through full moon reading. So the 13th of March through the 28th of March. I'm actually doing this on the 20, or sorry, on the 13th on the new moon. Um, I was not guided to do it before today for all of these readings, which is pretty interesting. Normally I start at least a few days ahead of time, but I didn't this time. Just guided to wait until this new mood actually was in full effect. So these readings will be coming out um, overnight and also on the 14th. Um, interesting. So anyway, also interesting what we're going to be doing with these readings, which is three oracles and tarot. However, my angel tarot deck is just with the major arcana is what I was told to pull out to just get one card from the major arcana from our angel tarot, one card of moonology. And these are really new decks for me. Moonology I've had for about a month, but sacred geometry oracle, really cool stuff that comes in with this sacred geometry oracle deck and then i have another new oracle deck this is a um the kim crans archetype oracle and i just have pulled out the portion for the the cards that are the selves so the part of ourselves that we need to take a look at and pay attention to so a little interesting here with the, with this, but over the course of the last couple of readings that I've done for Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, for the Full Moon, they've been really long, really epic. And for these, they're definitely, I was guided to do shorter, more precise readings and to also start integrating with my new Oracle decks. So without further ado, let's get into it with Moonology. See what we get for you, Aries. And if you don't know me, my name is Infinity. I'm a psychic, physical empath, medical medium, a natural born energy healer, and my website is thehealingbutterfly.org. You can work with me one-on-one -on -one for private reads, um, moderate to deep and um, very involved energy healing and soul code coaching, ascension coaching. I work with people, animals, and um, and I offer a lot of different services. So check out my website if you're at all guided there, please. Thehealingbutterfly.org. Okay. This one right here. Your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn Aries. Starting off with this. Your hard work is paying off. So been working hard, been focusing on certain aspects and um, I'm even hearing like sacrificing, not doing certain things because you're because you've been really focused and, and working hard and that energy is going to start to pay off even more and more through this new moon. So let's see what we get with the uh, sacred geometry. To give us a little bit more insight with this with this card and they have these have been I mean this is just the third one of these that I've done this combination of, of, of cards but the first two were very much thematic Thought I felt it there but nope <laughs> Okay, here we go. Awakening. Wow. The first card for the deck. I believe this is the very first card in this deck. It's called Awakening. Yeah, it's our zero card. Akashic Records. Conscious Evolution. Ooh, very cool. Let's get right into it. Our zero card called our sacred card. Um, the sacred card is the first of, of the cards. It's like the master of all master cards. It is called Awakening Aries. Wow, it's the master card. Akashic Records, cons Conscious Evolution, 
the greatest teacher is my soul. So true, so true. And that's what I do. Everything that I do is to get you connected with your soul. Um, first and foremost, divine union is soul, not with somebody else. So anyway, there we go. The greatest teacher is my soul. I am awakening and ex experience my soul communicating with me now in all that I do. Oh, I love this. You are experiencing conscious evolution. You are vibrating at higher frequencies than ever before. You are awakening and attuning to your soul's calling as you walk your path in this physical lifetime. Time seems to move faster as these resonant shifts occur. Your conscious awareness of all life experiences increases and you receive new information from higher vibrational realms that requires processing and assimilation. Pay strong attention to your dreams and to your waking moments as the universe is giving you messages. This may manifest as deja vu, repetitive, or palindromic numbers, uh, a feeling uh, or thought, a smell, or even a touch. And sacred geometry. The truncated oxyhedron is one of the Archimedean solids. Uh, this solid has 14 faces, 8 faces are regular hexagons, and 6 are square. The hexagon relates to the heart and the square to the earth. It is a representation of the earth, heart, and hence our connection to the all. Everything is connected through a multitude of vibrational frequencies as proposed by string theory and the quantum entanglement phenomenon, as well as the theory of the hundredth monkey effect. Practical application, and this is a quote, it says, if the brain is, uh, I mean, this is just too tiny, it is impossible. It's like in italics and really small. Um, if the brain is the radio's receiver, then the heart is the dial tuning the radio to the frequency of your choice. That makes sense. Yeah, I agree with that for sure. Um, okay, to activate our light codes within our DNA, it is important first to, and foremost to come from a place of love. Cultivating this is, for most of us, a lifelong process along our journey. Open your heart and still, still your mind. Meditation, sound integration, integrated healing, complementary therapies, crystals, herbs, healthful eating, and exercise all play a role in the inevitable vib vibrational shifts we are experiencing. Journal your dreams as our subconscious mind is a treasure trove of important information. As our frequency increases, our light codes are activated. As we become more consciously aware, our gifts and ancient knowledge stir and become increasingly apparent. The awakening process, once aroused, is a lifelong journey. It is what helps guide us through this lifetime as a soul experiencing a physical reality. Awakening is a sacred card. This, or sorry, when this card is drawn, pull another card to, to place onto it. Whatever the card is that you draw is what is suggested that you focus on now. For example, if you draw the frequency card 963 hertz with awakening, know that your awakening process is being accelerated. Honor it and work with it and don't try to control the course you are on. Work with this frequency by playing the rec receptive tones, meditating or writing, and maybe you can search for a teacher to help you on your path. This may be one-on-one may be one -on -one or within a work group or workshop. Card numerology is four. The crystal suggestions is Laramar, Herkimer Diamond, Aphrodite Pyramids, and Clear Quartz. The animal medicine is whale, and the essences would be whale, starlight, owl, wolf, and snake medicine essence. And that means um, what she uh, has you do is, well, there's different things that you do, but one of the things that I did with one of my first readings was I put a, my glass of water over the card, 
and had the intention of taking the energy from the card up into the water. Also, um, I had my um, mushroom medicine that I was um, using as well, and I did that with it too. So, um, what we're going to do, because it does suggest to take another card, um, and what to focus on, but we're already taking another card and what to focus on with the self. So that's going to, that's going to take our, our, our place of that. Cause as I read that, this is the first time I've pulled this card. Um, because like I said, the, this deck is very new to me, very, very new to me. I've yet to use it in general readings or other readings other than for myself. Um, and you know, same thing with this, I'm very extremely new. So that's what I was guided to do. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to jump directly to the archetype cards, the self cards. But whoa! But that um, this card with awakening is very important. It's definitely talking about um, leveling up, receiving light codes. Uh, so I really implore you to take a look at my last meditation that I put up, which was for the Stargate, starting on. Um, starting on 333 three, 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 313 sheesh we did oh oh I got a couple cards here I'm gonna keep going um and that had to do a lot with um light codes and um the shadow just popped out so we're gonna take that so I, I really suggest, highly suggest, if you have yet to check out that Stargate meditation, it's called an integration activation. So it's it's all about light code. So that's coming to me with this um, to please take a look at that. And furthermore, we just pulled the shadow card. So let's find the shadow card here. What number? Oh, I don't know why these these Roman numerals today are taking my my head on a twist. Okay, the shadow, the unspeakable, the unwelcome, the denied. Okay, the shadow. Although every card in the archetypes deck has a shadow potential, this card asks us to delve into the qualities of the shadow itself. We often think that the shadow can be purified, illuminated, and made right through effort and achievement. However, it is typically the case that our lofty pursuit of ascension and perfection is the very source of shadow, of shadow materials itself. By rejecting parts of ourselves and the world, we begin to separate from the whole. Rather than getting to know the qualities and content of our shadow, we busy ourselves with avoiding its presence. This is denial. When this card appears, it is time to take inventory of those things you've been denying. When the mind responds with, no, anything but that, you are touching shadow. Find support for this deep inner work and move towards the shadow with patience and compassion. Really interesting to get the shadow with the awakening card because this really speaks to a lot of a lot of denial and of the self up into this point and of the greater bigger picture and now it's like the shadow is really coming through as sorry if I didn't show it to you before the shadow is re really coming through with like now you're gonna see what you've been denying as far as um on a spiritual and metaphysical basis, not only for yourself, but for everything. Heavy. <laughs> Contemplate the following scientific, scientific observation. The closer an object, a person, place, or community is to the light, the longer the shadow it casts. That's also something to think about for sure. Um, and in the shadow of the gods are the very gods themselves. Reflect on this statement by James Hillman in A Blue Fire. What do you despise about yourself? By answering, you move towards shadow. 
Oh, this is so deep. I'm being directed immediately to the archangels for the major arcana here for the angel tarot for them to give us a little bit of the another another side here to look at this with. So let's just go right into this. There we go. The magician with Archangel Raziel. Card number one. So we have the fool. Then we have the magician with card number one. So zero with the fool. Card number one with the magician. Um, you are ready. You have the resources and ability to manifest them. Life is magical. So really interesting here. We have your hard work is paying off. We have Awakening, like the big card with this Sacred Geometry deck. This is like really speaking to, you know, uh, coming into a new place for yourself, a new understanding of shift. We have the Shadow with our, our Archetype cards. And then we have the Magician coming through with Raguel. So interesting here. Another thing I'm picking up here with your hard work is paying off. It's kind of like you've been researching, looking in and going down different rabbit holes in regards to, oh, I start to yawn when I start to channel the thing. Uh, my hair start to pop, I get tingly, I yawn. Uh, <laughs> that you've been going down, maybe researching, going down some rabbit holes, um, working on learning, working on um, trying to decipher and understand more of what's all happening in the world, in your world, what you're seeing versus what others seem to, seem to see. And you're seeing that there is this whole thing with spiritual awakening and um, there's something to be said for connecting through psychedelics, through using DMT or connecting with your, um, or uh, using your own body to, um, with DMT, with mushrooms, that sort of thing. Um, this shadow card is really speaking to the stuff that you're rejecting even though it's like this is real so we could be talking about angels we could be talking about stuff that is magical we could be talking about um all these types of things that for the a large majority of our world thinks that the rest of us are completely wackadoodle for believing in and as it turns out when you awaken you learn that it's not wackadoodle that connecting with spiritual beings and forces and energies are very much a universal experience for people who who are awakening who do awaken so i um this is this is probably the hardest thing for most people is this the stuff that we that we have put walls up and denied exist or say you know that's for other people who are you know not normal or you know who um you know need something to believe in when you awaken when you go through the work of going through your dark night seeing through you know seeing the patterns of your life and stuff like that and you start to awaken you start to see stuff you are going to come into things that are going to really push you um push your your sensibilities push your logic push your walls down or attempt to to tell you what is real to get you close to your soul it's all about connecting to your soul and that's about remembering once you connect to your soul and you hear things and you see things and you come into contact with people who are connected you'll get this sense of yes this this resonates this doesn't feel like bullshit this feels real to me I feel like I can I can really lean into this and that's really what this is asking you with Raguel is really saying you know you're ready to let go of the the I'm, I'm it's kind of like 
Like I'm seeing pe some people on a bridge and just like hanging on with ropes to, you know, what they knew was real and solid. But knowing that that's actually just a very small picture of all that is. And when you release and you let go and you have faith that you will get the answers that you that your soul requires you to have like you have to make that paradigm shift from holding on to what you knew and who you were to letting go of that and moving into an awakened state where the light can come in and cast that shadow on on the on the self that that makes things go out that when you turn you see the shadow cast out infinitely behind you once the light hits you that's your reality not this one dimensional thing like I'm just here right now and everything else that's that is real is just here right now because that's not true <laughs> basically um, and the magician is really energy that says this is when you start to understand energy and alchemy and the law of attraction and the universal laws and all of that kind of stuff and, and really tap in with, with divine wisdom, your own soul wisdom, alchemy of, you know, the sacred geometry in itself, just how potent and powerful that is to tap into and to to work with to work with um frequencies and energy and healing like all of this stuff there's so much <laughs> there's so so much that's there that's real that that we need to as awakened or awakening souls to to dive into it's like we have this this light and this shadow side and then right in the middle that is the infinite and that's where we need to jump into is that infinite spot right here Whoop, right here and it's precise and it's different than everything else that we know but it contains the truth so when you're headed when you're precisely intentionally headed towards the truth you can't go wrong and when your compass is your soul you'll never be steered in the wrong direction it's just letting go of things that that tether you to understanding understanding or knowing things that that are stories and ideas that come through um um, either dogma or edu or education or ideas that we got just you know passed down to us from people that we know from family members from parents from you know mentors or whatever from educators and and that we we took for our own stability and our own foundation but as we go through our life our journey and it's different for everybody as to when this happens but it starts to shift into what's what's real ab about all that and what's not and and what do I need to let go of so I can move forward what are the the circumstances of my life that I relied on in a certain way that told me a certain thing and now I'm seeing that's not necessarily the case so anyway hard work is paying off in this regard um, you know, keep, keep going on this journey to figure things out, to learn things about yourself and about the universe. You are coming into a new place and time. You are awakening to yourself, to your soul, to the path, to your mission, to your soul family, to, to those on the other side. And they are guiding you, um, forward. And again, I invite you to take a look at my website. Kind of my thing is to help people through their spiritual awakening. So please check out thehealingbutterfly.org and see if there's something there for you um, as far as one-on-one -on -one work or anything else. I have a podcast, guided meditations, eBooks, and they can all help you. So please go as guided. And one thing that's popping up last thing is, um, I'm hearing men, empaths. So empath, um, if you are aware you're an empath, then um, that's great. You just need to learn more about it. I have an ebook, The Essential Empath Guide. So please take a look at it. It's free. And if you're wondering if you're an empath, if you're 
it, you've heard that before it's coming up again you feel like you're a sensitive person but this is biology not not theology and um, it's something really important to know of yourself and that ebook has a, a quiz so I invite you to, to, to go and take a look at that do the quiz it takes like 10 minutes and it'll really help you understand and and that's really at the basis if you're an empath that's really going to kind of um, be the the driving force to your awakening because you 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 perceive and you feel and you live through that lens of being an empath okay thank you so much for joining me Aries this is really cool very deep um, a lot coming at you for this new moon through full moon take it slow be patient with yourself um, and pay attention to what's coming through in your dream state and in your wake state and see if you're feeling and getting synchronicities there. Okay, bye for now.